Hi, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Michelle. Any ordinary Tom, Dick or Harry can be famous nowadays. All you've got to do is go on Big Brother or Knob Russell Brand. Next thing you know, you're all over the papers. But I believe that ordinary people can still have a unique God-given talent, a genuine claim to fame. And I reckon there's one of those people in this audience tonight. It could have been you, Eileen DeBont. Where are you, Eileen? Yeah. Hey, Eileen. Hi. How are you doing, my lovely? I'm fine, thanks. Eileen, what's your claim to fame? Um, I had a barbecue with Brian Adams. That's bullshit. <laughs> so what happens? How did, he, how did you get to the stage where you're having a barbecue with Brian Adams? What happened? I just sent him a message on MySpace and invited him round for a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> but he said he couldn't make it round to my house, so that's when he invited me to to the concert. So Brian Adams sent a message back saying, I can't come round for tea, I'm ever sorry, yeah. but I am having a barbecue. <laughs> but that's pretty much what pretty happened. Pretty much it, yeah. yeah. Uh, what did you eat at the barbecue? Was it, was it a nice barbecue? Was it a quality barbecue? It was actually a vegetarian barbecue. Oh, that's bullshit. I, I didn't eat what? <laughs> what? That's an oxymoron. He's How can you have a... <laughs> actually... That doesn't work. How can you have a vegetarian barbecue? Well, I did actually read afterwards, he is a vegetarian, and he did actually say that, that his worst idea in the world would be snogging someone who'd just eaten, a, a, like, a beef burger or something. So that put me out of the frame, really. There is nothing wrong with <laughs> snogging someone who's just had a beef burger. <laughs> Unless, of course, they're halfway through it. Yeah. They've gone a little bit crazy with the relish. <laughs> be messy. Uh, Eileen, it's not you. It is! No, it's not you. Sorry, love. <laughs> it could be you, Linda Phillips. Where's Linda Phillips? <laughs> oh, Linda. <laughs> Linda, my lovely, what's your claim to fame? My claim to fame is I baked an apple pie for the Rolling Stones. Whoa! <laughs> yes. Did you make the pie for the Stones in general or one particular stone? Well, actually, it was for Keith. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Did he snort it? <laughs> yeah. He may well have done, but he loved it. Did he? Yes. Up the nose. <laughs> yeah. Are you still making pies for the Rolling Stones? No. Why not? Because I'm a rotten cook. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Linda. It's great, but it's not you. Linda Phillips, everybody. No, it's not Linda. Tonight, there was a true genius amongst us. And it's you, John Studley. John Studley, everybody. John, could you please tell us your claim to fame? Well, my claim to fame, in 1983, when I was 14, I was the world record holder at the classic arcade game, Pac-Man. That's bullshit. Bullshit. That's complete bullshit. Were you really? Yeah. Uh, how long did it take you to achieve this world record, John? Just over five hours. <laughs> what? Just standing there, playing Pac-Man... Yeah, five, five hours. hours. straight? Yeah. Um, I mean, do you... Uh, what about going to the toilet? There's a, there's a part in the maze where you can hide, where the ghost can't get you. <laughs> so you can go off and have a... Go to the toilet or have a, a drink. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. You can actually see it there, just on the screen. Oh, that's it? Well, it's just below the ghost box, there's a T. Um, I see it. Just to the right of the T, underneath, you can hide there and take a break. And how, how did you discover that you can hide there? Well, just misspent youth and spending <laughs> plenty of money. This is amazing. John, you still, you're still world number two when you, you currently hold the UK record. Yeah. Uh, who is currently world number one at Pac-Man? Well, there's five um, guys who are number one because they've, they've achieved what's called the perfect game of Pac-Man. Whoa. What's the perfect game of Pac-Man? Well, you need to go from the beginning to the end of Pac-Man on the first life without losing a life and to not miss any ghosts and eat every single bonus, every single um, dot, every single power pill. And you've not achieved this? No, no. Do you think you can one day? Possibly. Did you ever play Galaga? Absolutely. I have just bought an original Galaga arcade machine. I've got it at home now. And if you fancy it, John, Bring your ass down to Bristol, <laughs> and I will fuck you up. <laughs> John, you're a true British hero and an inspiration to us all. John Studley, everybody. Thank you, John. Please stay where you are, because I'll be chatting to lounge legend Tony Christie.
right after this break. But I'll give you one more shot at guessing which movie these sisters 